Good morning. I am Devi Sena. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about look angle determination. This topic is present in the subject satellite communication. Antenna look angle determination. The look angles are the coordinates to which an earth station antenna must be pointed to communicate with a satellite. The azimuth and elevation angles of the ground station antenna are termed as look angles. Satellite look angle is the angle which helps the satellite to stay at a specific position in a given time. If anyone wants to service from the satellite in specific time, then use a must know the look angle of the satellite. Elevation angle and azimuth angle we are going to discuss further. Elevation angle. Elevation angle is suffix L. Is the angle measured perpendicular that is upward to the horizontal plane in the vertical plane to the line of sight to the satellite. The antenna both side must be rotated to the elevation angle to the satellite visibility requires positive. Otherwise, it is below the horizon. Azimuth angle A suffix Z is the angle at which the earth stations is pointing the horizon. The azimuth angle is an angle measured eastward, that is clockwise, from north direction in the local horizontal plane. Here is a representation of azimuth angle and elevation angle. Calculating the look angles. Steps in calculating the look angles are as under. First one need six orbital elements then calculate the orbit from these orbital elements third define the orbital plane fourth locate satellite at a time t with respect to the first point of eris find location of the greenwich meridian relative to first point of eris use Spherical trigonometry to find the position of the satellite relative to a point on Earth's surface. Geometry for elevation calculation. Latitude. It is an angular distance measured in degrees north or south of the equator. Capital N from minus 90 to plus 90 degree or from 90 degrees south to 90 degree north. Longitude. It is an angular distance measured in degrees from a given reference line. Reference longitudinal line. That is Greenwich London. Small l from 0 degree to 360 degree east or 180 degree west to 180 degree east. Satellite coordinates, let us see. Subsatellite point, latitude, L suffix S. Longitude, small l suffix S. Earth station location, latitude, capital L suffix E. Longitude, small l suffix E. Angle at earth center, comma. Look angle geometry. Figure shows look angle geometry. Here, gamma, the central angle. This is the central angle, gamma. R suffix E, the radius of the earth. This is R suffix E. R suffix S, radius to the satellite. This is R suffix S. In the figure, R is the vector from 
the center of the earth to satellite d is the vector from earth station to satellite these vectors are in the same plane and form a triangle the central angle gamma is measured between r suffix e and the r suffix s is angle between the earth station and the satellite and psi is measured from r suffix e to d central angle gamma gamma is defined so that it is non negative and by the law of cosines cos of gamma is equal to cos of l capital l suffix e cos of capital l suffix s yes, cos of small l suffix s yes, minus small l suffix e plus sine of capital l suffix e sine of capital l suffix s yes. the elevation above earth station vertical is e l is equal to psi minus 90 degree the magnitude of the vectors joining the center of the earth the satellite and the earth station are related by the law of cosine as d is equal to r of x s square root of 1 plus open bracket r suffix e divided by r suffix s close bracket square minus 2 into open bracket r suffix e divided by r suffix s into cos of gamma consider this is equation 1 it is the communications path length d along which path losses will be calculated elevation calculation the elevation angle can then be calculated from the coordinates of the sub satellite point that is ssp the coordinates of the earth station the satellite orbital radius and earth radius as follows by the sine's law r suffix is divided by sine of psi that is equal to d divided by sine of gamma which yields cos of elevation angle that is equal to sine of gamma divided by open bracket 1 plus r suffix e divided by r suffix s close bracket square minus 2 into r suffix e divided by r suffix s into cos of gamma the power 1 by 2 that is from equation 1 we have substituted the value of d note elevation angle e suffix l must be positive for visibility azimuth angle to find the azimuth angle an intermediate angle alpha must first be found the intermediate angle allows the correct quadrant to be found since the azimuthal direction can lie anywhere between 0 degree that is true north and the clockwise through 360 degree that is back to true north again the intermediate angle can be found from alpha is equal to tan inverse of open bracket in the numerator we have tan of a magnitude of l suffix s minus l suffix e divided by sine of l suffix e azimuth angle case 1 earth station in the northern hemisphere with condition a satellite to the southeast of the earth station a suffix z is equal to 180 degree minus alpha satellite to the southwest of the earth station a suffix z is equal to 180 degree plus alpha where alpha is the intermediate angle its value we know that alpha is equal to tan inverse of open bracket tan of magnitude of l suffix s yes minus l suffix e divided by sine of l e azimuth angle case 2 that is earth station in the southern hemisphere with 
a satellite to the northeast of the earth station it is azimuth angle a is it is equal to alpha satellite to the northwest of the earth station a is it is equal to 360 degree minus alpha where alpha is the intermediate angle its value is tan inverse of open bracket tan of magnitude of l sub x l s minus l sub x e divided by sine of l sub x e visibility test a simple test called the visibility test will quickly tell you whether you can operate a satellite into a given location a positive or zero elevation angle requires r sub x s greater than or equal to r sub x e divided by cos of gamma this gives gamma is less than or equal to cos inverse of r sub x e divided by r sub x s operational limitations for geostationary satellites the value of gamma is less than or equal to 81.3 degree this would give an elevation angle that is equal to 0 degree not normal to operate down to zero usual limits are for c band it is 5 degree for q band it is 10 degree ka and v band it is 20 degree thank you very much for listening this lecture if you like this lecture means kindly share this video to your friends for further updates kindly subscribe my channel thank you